Uh, hello there people. Uh, this is Mr. Critic and you're watching my LP of Panzer General. So this is Cobra Part 3 Axis Turn 2. The Allies did a lot of damage on the previous turn. I'm especially disappointed about the performance of this 88 gun here but on the other hand uh, this firefly is now weakened and we can destroy it so attack wonderful just bloody wonderful uh, speaking of armor, we also have an Achilles here. Achilles is excellent against hard targets, but very weak against soft targets and has low ground defense value. So, first we'll attack it with our Inf. A uh, so-so result, no, actually not so-so, a bad result, but now we have also a Tiger 2 to finish it off, and this is what we'll do. Perfect. So now the casualties department is getting, you know, not equal, but close to it. Uh, now I will attack this Spitfire with a strength of 13 Wow Perfect And with this anti-aircraft we will either finish the job or cripple this Spitfire to the extent that we can then take it out with our fighter. Uh, he actually did some damage, <coughs> but it's really not a problem. So now we are free to bring our Nash Horn into action and attack this artillery. <coughs> the Nash Horn has retreated. So, to finish it off, we'll use our Panzer 4J, I think. And then we'll try to take over, or maybe, I'm not sure. Hmm. You know, I would very much like to destroy uh, this unit, this artillery which is crippled, and also this inf. Uh, heavy artillery should work. Hmm. It's a difficult question, so I'll need to take a little pause. I will be right back. Uh, yo, I have studied the map um, very carefully and have decided to do this. Nice. And we move forward. Now we lose our heavy artillery to deal with this inf in a transport 
perfect. And with this anti tank, we can uh, maybe finish the job, or if not, at least we can make this unit retreat. Just let me check what to do with this um, medium artillery. We could, you know, uh, could attack this transport. You no, know, just in case if, you know, um, we are worried about rugged defense, but I think not. Only useful against this British bridge engineer, so we'll just attack. Perfect. Ow! And it has retreated, you know, uh, north. Not here where I wanted it to, so yeah. Okay, no, no biggie. We'll just place the anti tank here. Anti tank gun, of course. Uh, ah, and now we are here. Around the city of home floor. First, we'll shell the enemy artillery. <coughs> Eight of strength remaining. Two two, so we'll just destroy it with our JP elephant. Wonderful. Uh, it's probably time to save this game, I think. So, Cobra. Zero zero five. I was thinking a lot, of, you know, about about what to do with this Panther A. But if we bring it across the river, it will be closer to the battlefield on the next turn, and this is what we need. If somebody attacks it, we have here a flag that will punish, you know, the air unit attacking it. Uh, ah, okay, here. We could disband this unit. In most cases it would be the best idea, definitely. But I want to block the advance of the American units, so I will just shell this artillery in a transport. <coughs> Wow, actually some good result. And place it here, you know, so either air units will have to attack it or artillery will have to spend a turn. Uh, here we have an air defense, we will attack this T-bolt. Very nice, move here. And now we'll shell uh, this artil artillery, sorry, in a transport. Uh, this time with no result, unfortunately. But we move here. This infantry goes back into the city and this inf retreats. So this t -bolt now has a strength of 7, which is good. Um, now what to do? 
have to think a lot, you know, so sorry if I will be pausing the game very often, but we can bring our infantry here, and of course we were going to the victory objectives to protect them just in case, so you know what I mean. Uh, what to do here? We have a problem, definitely, since um, this artillery will be destroyed unless, you know, it moves under, uh, you know, uh, close to the protection of this air defense. Uh, but these pioneers, you know, I believe can hold their ground for another turn. And they have to, you know, since uh, we do not want to lose our tank. Infantry are, are expendable, tanks are not, especially uh, the elite tanks. So, yeah, once again, sorry, time for little pause. Uh, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so, after carefully studying the map, I have decided to first shell uh, this Reckon. Wonderful. And then move here. And now we'll also attack this Reckon with our Inf. has fired first. Always bad. Uh, but now we can move here. Uh, yeah. Also we have our Panther A in the area so it will join our units. But first we'll try to destroy this Spitfire with 3 stars of experience. Come on! Wonderful. So one less fighter to worry about. Now we'll also attack this one. <laughs> Very good. And we move here. Why? Because we'll bring our Panther A closer. I was thinking a lot about what to do with this flag as well. And since it is an experienced flag, I will upgrade it. Give it a transport. So, you know, it can arrive on the next turn uh, to our defensive circle and do its job. Mm. As for the paratroopers, uh, they were only meant, you know, to be a bait. So, and here they are. Attack them at your pleasure, then we'll destroy some more fighters. was also thinking a lot about, you know, if this Spitfire or the one that we destroyed is sufficiently damaged, should we bring our fighters, you know, closer. But I don't think it is time yet, since the enemy has plenty of Mustangs. And American Mustangs are pretty much of the same quality as our uh, Focke Wolves, but have one more star of experience. So we'll have to weaken them, weaken them 
a little bit before we actually attack. What units do we have left? Ah, okay. So with some luck we will now be able to destroy this inf. Come on, please destroy it. Good for prestige. No, it didn't work. So we'll just stay put. And no, I don't think I will move uh, our pioneers, even though we should be able to destroy this um, Reckon. I want them here, so if our Panther D is attacked, we'll be able to bring it under the cover of this defensive circle. At the moment it is not a circle, you know, but I think you get the idea. We have 334 of prestige. But, you know, this is uh, the forward most unit of the allies. And <coughs> not only being an artillery, but it's still a long way from the victory objective of Nantes. So, we have plenty of time. Um, what can we buy? Or purchase, if you, if you prefer. If we fly here, We are expected to win this battle, but not without casualties. And then these freaking American fighters will just fly in and destroy our Fokkewolf. So, no thank you. We'll just... You fly here. You fly here. We'll get elite probably for this fighter. Five more units to move and one more to purchase. Uh, now which one? Um, it's always a good question. As much as I would like to smash, you know, uh, these units here. I also have to consider what will happen here in the killing zone. So yeah, sorry folks, but another pause. I need to think about it. Be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. Uh, I may regret this later, uh, since uh, there are plenty of things that could be useful to purchase, but I will purchase another air defense here. And now we give a lead to this fighter. Nothing for the pioneers. One more elite for this inf, and also one more elite for this air defense. So this is it. Uh, we need to save the game. Uh, yeah. Cobra 05. Casualties. So. Uh, we have destroyed an inf, two artilleries, one anti-tank, uh, one tank actually, and one fighter. And we have lost 
four infantries and one anti-tank. So we are pretty even at the moment. Some good luck now, please. Okay. The bait proved to be useful. Two fighters attacked it and these two fighters are basically doomed. And he used the mass tank to destroy our crippled artillery. Uh, sorry, artillery. Nothing. Fight back. Nothing again. Ah, he has fired at the same time, so this is bad. Ouch. I would very much like, you know, to load the game and try again. <laughs> He's using level bombers for for nothing actually. Okay, good for our. Okay, destroy this fucking Spitfire. <coughs> Didn't go well enough. Bastard. And uh, this typhoon went for my Panther A. Excellent, some distraction. Ouch. This tank is actually dead now, because we have two panthers in the area and we'll destroy it if possible. Perfect. Stand your ground, pioneers. Come on, artillery. Do something. Ah, only three suppressed. That's nothing. But we have fired first. Wow. I'm loving it. Attack broken up. Rugged defense? Now. Oh, screw you. So, pioneers are close to being destroyed. And this imp also. Yeah, but now we have some more targets to deal with. So, okay, X is turn 3. Uh, I h hope you will not mind saying me so, but... Um, actually, we're winning. <laughs> uh, we have achieved the main goal, so... A large part of 
the allied army is attacking our defensive circle and the other part is advancing towards Nantes so yeah let us just check the casualties six infantry is lost no tank is lost on our side 2-2 two, two in artilleries, 1-1 one, one in anti-tanks and now of course we will give uh, the enemy units hell uh, the air units of course and we also have this tank here that will uh, actually you know uh, Uh, these tanks are no match for our Panthers, so... Wow! I think... We can win this one, actually, now. <laughs> so, Karel... You were asking, you know, how to win this? Uh, well... We are getting pretty close to it. Two more turns of good defenses and some good luck and I think this will be over. <laughs> I, you know, when I started this LP, um, I was so freaking afraid, you know. Uh, I had no idea I can do it uh, online, uh, winning of course and everything, uh, but now I'm getting confident, uh, so uh, thank you for watching this, all the best from Mr. Critic and bye bye.